Before the 1980s, Iraq's main port, Basra, was known as the Venice of the East. It was a magnet for tourists, but now many of its people can't afford or even find clean water. Experts say the city's main water source, the Shat al Arab River, has never been so polluted. It's no longer a lifeline. It's one for death. Pollution levels are so high. Different pollutants can be found in the river, including germs, chemicals, toxic algae coupled with unprecedented levels of salinity, almost like that of seawater. Actually, it really is seawater. Basra's aging water treatment plants are in serious need of repair. The city health department says seawater seeping into public drinking water has sent 90,000 people to the hospital. This mother uses precious drinking water to give her child a bath. It's the kind of hygiene an increasing number of Basrans can't enjoy. Water production is enough to meet the needs of the center of the city and Hatha district only, but not the districts and sub-districts. It's a distressing reality for a province with a population of four million people. Water and power shortages and unemployment have sparked several violent protests since July. Angry residents criticize mismanagement of the region's rich oil supply and decades of underinvestment and neglect of infrastructure. But officials blame weak oil prices for a public funding crisis. Price gouging is making the problem even worse. The tank costs $8, and the owner of the motorized cart is selling it at $16. How can poor people afford it? How can those who don't have any money afford it? Will they steal to get the money? I don't know what to do. New water treatment projects are in the works, but delays have meant the crisis is continuing. And it could lead protesters to set more fires on the streets of Basra. Sarah Balter. TRT World.